I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins with the opening market minute for Thursday, August 1st. Soybeans and corn are both down modestly in the early going, looking at a generally less stressful weather pattern on tap for much of the U.S. Midwest and Plains. This does follow some storm damage overnight in parts of Nebraska and Iowa and the recent crop stress in northwestern U.S. growing areas, but both of those are going to be hard to quantify for quite some time. New crop export sales on both corn and soybeans were bearish. Old crop beans were up on the week, but old crop corn hit a marketing year low. China did buy 132,000 tons of new crop U.S. soybeans this morning. Corn is mixed, watching late U.S. winter wheat harvest activity and spring wheat development weather along with early spring wheat harvest activity, in addition to some global weather issues. Live and feeder cattle are down, waiting for widespread direct cash cattle business to get going. Asking prices this morning should be refreshed around 190 to 192 on the live basis. Otherwise, things have been quiet on the dress basis, with no bids reported as of yet either. And hogs are up with pork export sales showing a week-to-week -week improvement, shrugging off yesterday's lower close in the pork carcass cutout value. With the opening market minute for Thursday, August 1st, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins. Stay tuned for this afternoon's update.